life on other planets. Dr. Edgar Mitchell says there is a worldwide conspiracy to cover up. Edgar Mitchell is near at Roswell. Edgar Mitchell is hitting the limelight. Dr. Mitchell, 77 years old, was on a radio interview in Birmingham, England. I mean, you realize this is the story of the century. I mean, that's better than a little bit of water on Mars. The UFO phenomenon is real. Whoa! Former NASA astronaut Edgar Mitchell talking to the completely overwhelmed and astonished Nick Margerison on a little-known British station, Kerrang Radio. There's not much question at all what there's life throughout the universe. We're not alone in the universe. It is a real phenomenon. Astronaut Dr. Edgar Mitchell was on a radio show over in England, and he says that for six decades the government's been covering up the fact that aliens do exist. Et pour cause, les extraterrestres ne sont plus sur la Lune, mais ici, sur Terre, et depuis longtemps. A group of space enthusiasts are pushing President Obama to release government documents on possible close encounters with aliens and UFOs. Jim Acosta has the story. To believers in UFOs, the truth isn't out there, it's in there. So they're calling on President Obama to end what they insist is a government cover-up of the existence of extraterrestrials. Will you release these records? Will you release all documents? Documents they claim exist and prove there is life in outer space. Uh, President Obama is awfully busy these days. I know he you think is. he has time for this? Well, let's say, I would say, the fact that we are not alone in the universe is one of the more important aspects of our time. Former Apollo astronaut Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, told the National Press Club he's convinced. But there isn't convincing proof that's going to convince the entire world at this that point. That is correct. That is what As we're for John Podesta, he's still sticking to his belief that the government knows more than it's telling about UFOs. He released a statement saying the government should open the files and the American people can handle the truth. For years, the U.S. government has had a standing policy. It would neither confirm nor deny the existence of UFOs. Their non-cooperation has been interpreted by many ufologists as evidence of a government conspiracy to cover up UFO sightings. Now, Sightings has uncovered information that provides another explanation for their silence. Many UFO sightings may actually be top-secret military aircraft the government doesn't want you to know about. When I first saw the UFO, it was directly overhead, moving incredibly slowly. The shape of it was half a triangle. And all of a sudden, over at the hill, this enormous pattern of lights emerges. I was just in awe of what I'd seen because I didn't know what it was and I'd never seen anything like it. Holy cow! There's no question that there have been sightings by military devices in space. And that gets us right to the UFO question. Are we dealing with a cosmic water gate? Which I maintain that we are. What the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> it was me! It was like leaving stuff behind it, wasn't it? For the past 25 years, the United States government, especially the Air Force, has been telling us these things don't exist. I, I feel that there's been so much controversy about cover-ups and UFO phenomena and everything that goes on. And I think that someone needs to point out that a lot of it is just hogwash. If anybody says the United States government is not withholding information about flying saucers, so simply isn't telling the truth or they're totally ignorant one way or the other. Our most recent investigation has concentrated on a series of sightings in the western United States. Sightings has learned that many UFOs spotted in California and Nevada may actually be highly classified military experiments called black projects. Sources familiar with these black projects, many of whom wish to remain anonymous, have told us that the military is now experimenting with aerospace technology beyond our wildest dreams. The objects we're talking about are zipping around and doing hard angled turns, acute angled turns. In order to do that, it must be controlling gravity. And therefore, what you're talking about is a spacecraft, not an aircraft. I think you have to be careful not to confuse what's mysterious um, with what is virtually supernatural. Certainly some of these things are going to look very strange, they're very unlike aircraft with which people are familiar. 
Well, certainly the history of the uh, flying saucer phenomena suggests that in the past, classified programs resulted in a lot of reports of flying saucers. And if you see all of the instances where conventional aircraft have been misinterpreted as flying saucers, it's quite easy to understand how unconventional aircraft could receive a similar misinterpretation. In the Nevada desert, we have things that would make George Lucas envious. We have things out there that are, that are literally out of this world. Most aeronautical black projects reportedly operate out of this test site located at Groom Lake in Nevada. This installation is also known as Area 51, or Dreamland. The government denies the very existence of Area 51, but these photographs do prove there is an installation at Groom Lake. They have a hangar near the south end of the ramp that appears to have doors that are almost 200 feet tall, uh, 400 feet wide. You can put anything in there. One of the problems associated with Groom Lake is the fact that it is a place that not, does not officially exist. This federal official insisted on hiding his identity. Area 51 is the most tightly secured installation in this country. It's guarded both over the air and on the ground by elite Air Force security police and Department of Energy special response teams. They are heavily armed and their total mission is to keep people off of this installation. It's an ideal place for top secret, highly classified military projects to refine them, to take them to the next level. This is the place. You have deep, deep desert valleys, high mountain ranges to camouflage and mask these things when they fly. Uh, the military is the top dog here in Nevada, no doubt about it. They run the show. If someone came to me and said there's just absolutely nothing that secret and they decided they were going to hike into area 51 i think that could be the biggest and perhaps the last mistake they are going to make in their life are these people still locked into a cold war mentality is, it, is that the point here or are they really hiding something that's that's totally alien is, is this otherworldly technology that's being applied to air force black projects one of the most recent black projects to be leaked to the media has been dubbed Aurora. The few facts revealed so far about Aurora's speed and maneuverability are tantalizing. Rumors about Aurora first started after thousands of people in Southern California reported feeling earthquakes. Seismologists found that the tremors were not earthquakes, but were caused by sonic booms. The booms were the first hard evidence that high-speed, unidentified aircraft were operating over the western United States. We really can't tell what's moving. The only thing we see is, is a sonic boom and that's telling us that something is moving faster than the speed of sound. So actually we can't even tell it's an airplane. The sonic booms were tracked and found to be heading toward Nevada. At the same time, witnesses described an increasing number of UFOs that defied the laws of aerodynamics. If they are top secret military aircraft, where is this new technology coming from? The technology is, is incredible. A Mach 6 airplane, an uh, 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 unmanned aerial vehicle performing these incredibly banked high-speed turns. It boggles the mind. Yeah, I think it, it could possibly be something otherworldly or, or at least borrowed alien technology. I don't put that beyond the realm. Top secret testing of experimental aircraft does provide a compelling explanation for many UFO sightings. But what about sightings which occur in remote areas far from military bases, or sightings in which eyewitnesses claim personal contact? Further investigation is needed to provide a more complete answer to the UFO question. The most controversial subject we investigate on sightings is alien abduction. More and more seemingly credible people are coming forward, claiming that they've been abducted, probed, and manipulated by aliens. And now there's a new pattern developing. Supposed abductees are returning from their experiences with a cautionary message for us all.